Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa Akim, Wa Akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a, another sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Malachi 3 and verse 6. This is the book of Malachi 3 and verse 6, and it reads, For I am the Lord Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right, because we are the sons and daughters of uh, Jacob, the actual bloodline lineage of the Israelites, the uh, sons and daughters of the true living power, which is Yahweh of Israel. So that shows you that the Heavenly Father, he changed not. He's the Ancient of Days, and he still remains the same. So that shows you that the Lord, he's in control of everything. You know, he changed not, you know. Just like it says in uh, Isaiah uh, 55 and verse 11 I believe the words of the Heavenly Father goes forward and it doesn't go in void and it accomplishes that what pleases him so that shows you that you know the Lord he changed not he still remains the same when the Heavenly Father said something that's going to come to pass is going to come to pass what took place in ancient times took place in ancient times and what's taking place right now is taking place right now you know, so when the Heavenly Father said that was going to happen during those times, it was going to happen. And what's going to happen in these times is going to happen. You know, especially, you know, when it comes to relating to uh, biblical prophecies, uh, biblical signs that we are seeing. As the Heavenly Father sent the prophets out to uh, warn the Israelites, warn what's going to take place in the world, what's going to take place during those ancient kingdoms during those times and what's going to take place in these modern day times so as the scriptures has written you know hey it was it's going to happen you know and definitely the heavenly father you know the words of the heavenly father doesn't change so the ways of the heavenly father doesn't change he still remains the same you know just like it says uh you know the heavenly father ways are higher than our ways you know that's why we trust in his ways because his ways are higher than our ways you know but, hey, the Heavenly Father, he never changed, you know. So that shows you that the Heavenly Father, he's not no one-sided person. Because the Heavenly Father, he's a uh, righteous, balanced power. He never he never changed. He still remains the same. Even if years go back, even if generations go back. I mean, very long time of generations. Very long time of years. Hey, the days, the months, the years, etc. you name it. Hey, even thousands of Two thousand, three thousand years, you know, Cause like I believe the scripture says, uh, to one day, uh, one day, which is a thousand years, is to the heavenly Father. You know, it means you know, it's really not much. You know, it's it's it's, it's nothing to the heavenly Father in comparison to that. So that shows you that, you know, the heavenly Father, He still remains the same. He doesn't change. You know. Because he's the ancient of days, you know. So the Heavenly Father is definitely going to remain the same. Doesn't matter the years go by, the seasons, the times, the date, you know. So, hey, the Heavenly Father, he still, you know, remains the same, you know. Uh, Malachi 3 and verse 6, For I am the Lord Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So that shows you a plain example right there. And many more scriptures as a cross-reference to the Malachi 3 and verse 6 that shows you that the Heavenly Father, he, you know, he still remains the same. He doesn't change, you know. Just like it says in Isaiah 45 and verse 7, I, the Lord, I create darkness, I create peace, I create evil. I, the Lord, does all these things. While at the same time, the Heavenly Father remains the same and he's a righteous, balanced power. The ultimate 100% righteous, balanced power, which is Yahweh of Israel. That's his true name. And Malachi 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord Yahweh, I change not. Right, so the Heavenly Father, he doesn't change, you know. You know, whatever experts say, whatever anybody says in the world, or try to change the, the Heavenly Father's word, try to change his point of view, trying to uh, misinterpret misinterpret the scriptures with their own understandings of the holy scriptures you know a that, that still doesn't matter because the heavenly father he still remains the same what was written in the scriptures by the heavenly father 
by his servants and his prophets by his men and by him let alone only by him as well too because i believe that's in isaiah 45 and verse 5 there none there there's no other power there's no other power besides him you know which is Yahweh. you know so that shows you that hey that father he doesn't change he still remains the same because he's always going to be the ancient of days you know so there's nobody can do anything about that because he's the creator of everything anything that's living and existing on the planet earth he's the creator of everything so whatever the heavenly father say goes it goes so he doesn't change he still remains the same you know so what anybody says that's not going to change the fact of the heavenly father still remains the same and the heavenly father is definitely not no one-sided person you know that shows you that the heavenly father he's a ultimate righteous balanced power and he is going to be the ancient of days forever you know so he never changed he still remains the same so the heavenly father is going to be the same forever <laughs> for yesterday and today's you know so that shows you that the heavenly father he still remains the same he doesn't change malachi 3 and verse 6 but you know i'm just saying it as a prime example malachi 3 and verse 6 for i am the lord yahweh i change not therefore ye sons of jacob are not consumed so with that hopefully this uh sit down lesson was uh edifying of the book of malachi chapter 3 and verse 6 and that was the title of the sit down lesson so hopefully this uh lesson was uh edifying with that i would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to yahweh bashem yahweh shai bashem karkadash shalawam to the uh elders wa'akim wa'akwaf until next time, I will say Shalom.